A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. This is the part 3 of the session that I was doing on crocodile tears of twin flame predator becomes real as karma hits back. So some people were asking me who is the twin flame predator? Basically twin flame, I don't mean to say twin flame is a predator. I mean to say the predator, the predator who's after the twin flame. So there are these people who are aware about the twin flame concept. So I have already explained this in part one and part two. You can check out and both the parts and you can then figure out what I mean by the predators. So there are all these people who wear the mask of the twin flame or a highly spiritual person or a highly developed person. And trust me, you don't want to trust me, it's okay. But they have a lot of information as well. Like the Illuminati, they have a lot of information. They also know metaphysics, okay? And Illuminati is the biggest reason why right now twin flames are separated. You may not understand it right now, but just to give you, uh, maybe some of you would, okay? But let me just give you more clarity so that you do understand how it works. So basically, Illuminati was created by Ravan. Who is Ravan? Ravan is the person, the demon lord Ravan, who is the villain, the main character of the villain community in the story of Ramayan. Now, this is the reason why I have told many people, if you are a genuine twin claim, then you must listen to the story of Ramayan. And you can also subscribe to my channel, Ramayan and Mahabharat Diaries, where I keep sharing about Ramayan, some or the other thing, but I will also in English... I will also uh, share the story of Ramayana from the very beginning and you'll enjoy it to the core because it's one of the best stories and the oldest stories which actually happened during the Treta Yuga. During the descending mental age, this actually happened. Ram and Sita got reincarnated on planet Earth to fight against Ravan. So Ravan and her uncle, the maternal uncle of Ravan, Marich, they created the Maya Nagri, which is called City of Illusions. But this City of Illusions, it is run by the corporation or whatever you want to call it. In the modern day, it's called Illuminati. Their biggest attempt is to separate true lovers, to separate twin flames. Okay, They don't want the twin flame to reach to the truth. They want the twin flames and the star steeds to get lost in this world. And that's why they created the media. The media is not very old, my dear friends. Television is not very old. Movies and television is not old. It's just probably 100 years old. That's it. Before the televisions, the films, all these type of uh, platforms that you see, there were other things also. But this planet is not ruled only by the reptilians extraterrestrials okay it is also ruled by the divine beings 50 percent is ruled by the extraterrestrials and 50 percent is ruled by the divine beings so the divine beings are also very much technologically sound obviously they are from the higher dimension and the lower dimensions are run by the reptilians and they are also technologically very sound so when a, whenever they create a platform like this you can look at youtube also it will give you information, all sorts of crappy information you can search. YouTube is literally a dimension, uh, dimensional, you can say, platform. It is. It works in all dimensions. It works in the hell realm also and it works in the higher realms also. You know, anybody can search for any content. I'm not even sure how much content YouTube has. Like, it's difficult to fathom. And I don't even know who is running this whole operation. Because I think this is the only platform which is neutral in terms of uh, what content can go out. Or you can say they don't themselves have, uh, you know, it in their control. Because when you create anything, people think that you're creating it because you are the creator. But you're not the creator. You're not the doer. Okay. So the Illuminati agents will also put whatever content they can and they'll market it very well and they'll... But you may not get attracted to it. Like when you are into the ascension journey, when you get into the higher stages, you don't get attracted to content because the content is not of your frequency. Especially the content which is coming from the lower frequency. 
लाइक आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पॉन स्टार टूडे आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पॉन स्टार एज एन आई वॉज टेलिंग वन ऑफ माई कजन हु इज वेरी मच इनामड बाय दिस पॉन स्टार एंड शी वॉज लाइक ओ दिस पॉन स्टार इज सो इनोसेंट शी गॉट इन टू द बिजनेस बिकॉज शी हैड टू मेक मनी एंड दिस एंड दैट सो आई सेड ओके सो डू यू थिंक शी हैज क्वेटेड या शी इज क्वेटेड बिकॉज देर इज अ बायोग्राफी ऑन दिस पॉन स्टार इमेजिन देर इज अ बायोग्राफी ऑन अ पॉन स्टार हु इज अ वेरी फेमस पॉन स्टार सो आई टोल्ड अ ओके वाई डोंट यू चेक आउट अर वेबसाइट you can go to her website even right now it is fully functional and you can pay the money you can pay money even right now it's going to ask you for a membership amount if you want you know hardcore videos by this and if you don't want to pay you can simply enter and just go through the videos and it has got everything like everything and this poor girl was shocked she was like oh my god but she said in the interviews and it was shown in the biography she said that she is innocent if she is innocent why is she still doing it why is she still running a business out of this you know she the porn star i'm not going to name her you guys can figure it out yourself most of them are like that all of them who are famous they play this victim card they play this mask of a sweet innocent girl who got trapped into this business who was not given her dues and who was cheated on who was betrayed and blah 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 but they are very famous and they are doing really well and they influence a lot of people and they make money on various platforms they don't just make money through porn my dear friends they make money through various platforms including youtube including some other places as well so the point here is that the illuminati is basically creating content that keeps you away from true love because it tries to distort your vision it tries to you know make you believe into something called love which is actually not love but it is lust okay so basically ravan was the creator and ravan was the one who instructed his maternal uncle so hollywood is like the hub of illuminati you can say and then you have other even bollywood is like they may not know it because illuminati or any evil entity it works on two principles one is a blood ritual and another another is a sexual exchange so you can do sexual exchanges in many ways and porn is one of those so they may not do sexual exchange but they would have some poster uh, boys or poster girls poster man men women who attract a lot of innocent kids sexually they attract them you know or they make them believe that if you want to get the right partner that the past partner has to be like this with these type of bodily features or with this they never talk about source they never talk about god they never talk about anything that can lead you to ascension they only talk about things that will lead you deeper and deeper into the realms of the materialistic world or the lower frequency so most of them you can say most of them are very fame hungry power hungry recognition hungry name hungry and some of them are themselves being used by them the illuminati agents why because they don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're standing for they don't know some of them don't know but some of them are extremely cunning they are extremely shrewd they are extremely like horrible so they do a lot of things to remain in that place of power and they manage to do it for many years decades and decades but they never give any credit to source and they never give any credit to true love they never say that you know i got here because i had grace of god it's not but they'll always say i'm here because i struggled so much oh my god i did so much i went for these acting classes and i stood in the queue for the auditions they are not going to talk about the number of producers they had to sleep with or they decided to sleep with them they are not going to talk about all the people uh, they you know went and ass licked and they maybe still do they are not going to talk about of all the internal politics they do they are not going to talk about all the people they removed from their path you know anybody who came across as a person with strong energy they did so many things to get them out of the way and probably those people became failed uh personalities or failed and then they call themselves icons these are the heavy duty words they give icons legends you must have overcome over come over heard maybe you overcame some of you overcame these uh these type of 
energetic influences but some of them actually say that we are legends or they are legends what have they done which is so legendary you know and it's just a matter of few decades maximum to maximum somebody is going to be popular for 3 or 4 or 5 or maybe maximum i'm saying 10 decades not more than that maybe 9 decades 9 is the number actually for 9 decades that's the maximum guys and those people who are basically talking about source and those people who are talking about uh, truth people who are directing others towards the masters and the source and towards the true love and truth those people may not be very popular in the mainstream media they may not be putting up their hoardings and they may not be uh you know living with the uh, security and you know there are probably thousands of people under their house waiting to see them or all of that jazz crappy jazz they do but they could be doing a lot for others in a very non selfless like a non selfish way and a very selfless way they could be helping people out and they could be you know living simple lifestyles or happy lifestyles or you can say peaceful lifestyles but these agents of illuminati or those who are hypnotized by the agents of illuminati they might not even know what they are into they might not even know what they are doing okay so they know about metaphysical laws they know about law of attraction they know some of them even meditate a lot you know but what are they meditating they chant a lot of those numbers and figures and they see a lot of these visions they create these vision boards sometime back the vision board was very popular you know like if you want something put it up on a board and keep thinking about it keep visualizing it every day i think that's the most idiotic thing you can do you know to be honest most idiotic thing because in a twin flame journey we are here to surrender we are not here to say i want this i want that i like this i like that or i hate this we are just here to accept everything that's happening and act accordingly in a given situation and let go if it's too difficult and just smile you know or just say or take a stand or whatever it is but it stays in the moment it's done in the moment and you don't do it as a doer you just do it as an observer who follows the principle of instant karma and inspired action okay so basically the true lovers should stay away that's the goal now as i said some of you may not even be bothered about whatever these media people are doing you could be like really living your life you know so you could be traveling within you could be doing inner work because inner work happens for a long time so you could be meeting people who are very much trained to shed crocodile tears okay now the third part where we are right now i want to tell you what is happening to that crocodile basically what tha- what's happening to the lizards and the crocodiles and to all those people you know who who basically used the twin flame misused abused the twin flame and this will apply to anybody who was uh, going through torture during you can say 2014 14 15 16 17 also 18 also till 18 and uh, even before that by 19 you know a lot of you actually started shifting your energies so you were not getting into huge amount of torture that way but before that all those people especially i would say even 13 included so 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 these years are very crucial for twin flames for some of you especially those who are harmonizing right now or illuminating right now or even surrendering right now because this was these are you know the preparatory years before 2019 so 2019 is an important year for many of you because in 2020 the pandemic happened 21 you know guys if you are into this you learned so much and 22 january onwards even before january came the last two weeks of january of december sorry yeah so december onwards not january onwards last two week of december onwards people have been going through a lot of heavy energies even till now because these holidays they come with a lot of baggage you know these holiday season so called holiday season first of all new year this is the worst time to celebrate new year okay december and january first 31st of december and 1st of january this is the wrong new year according to the real calendar which is called the vikram samvat calendar new year is supposed to be celebrated during the month of march 
or april you know this is the right time because this is a time when the spring is on the sun is out the harvest is happening in most places of the world okay so we don't celebrate new year because this is dark and dismal time and it is winter and then you put people under this stupid pressure you know so there are a lot of people who are suffering because of this because they cannot handle the narcissism they cannot handle the toxicity they have to get back to all the relatives they have to get back to their family members and they have to do so many things for them they have to be present in so many places and some of you could be meeting some toxic narcissistic partners boyfriend girlfriend and you know of course there are expectations that you could be have happy, having as expectations happening and expectations you are having from your divine counterpart or your twin flame because you are trying to put them in the old model of love technically the twin flames usually go through a dark phase during the winters once once every year it happens guys and there's nothing wrong in that okay march is a good time for twin flamers you will all agree to this if you are genuinely observing these things february march onwards things change but december and january it is so so damn uh, chock a blocked because of the old model of doing things so you could be expecting so much from certain people they could not be uh, able to give it back to you or they may not be giving back to you so you could be suffering or you could just be you know in the inner world scenario i mean i'm talking about those in harmonization and even union some people think that after union there is no inner work but that's not true a lot of people who are working with me are actually experiencing union still they are doing inner work because some people even say that once you get into the mission work the inner work becomes like totally important because then you form communities then you form uh, independent energies then your goal is very different you know after that before that maybe it's all about you 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 but once you're in the mission it's about others it, it's about the things the volunteering that you're here to do okay so even those people so i don't think anybody has to stop doing inner work nobody has to stop doing inner work people who sometimes attract a union a very happy very solid union they also lose the union energies because they don't do anything for anyone they stop volunteering they stop doing inner work they take it for granted that just because i've gotten married with someone who was supposedly the twin flame or they know it's the twin flame energy they know it's the true love but the true love gets cold feet the true love meets family members or something happens there's negativity it comes inside somehow you know so every single person in every single stage of this journey has to do in our work every now and then okay sometimes you get like too much about it too many spiritual practices are not really included under in our work to be honest because they may not be correct spiritual practices you may be doing something wrong you may be listening to some meditations thinking that this is going to take you closer into your union but it could be taking you in the opposite direction you may be continuously listening to content thinking that this content will help me you could be seeing you know i mean nothing against people who are doing great work please uh, keep it up and keep doing great work but i'm just saying that sometimes you may not be aware about uh, what exactly you are into okay so now this person the predator is suffering a lot now the problem of the predator is that they have put themselves into their own prison out of their greed and lust and comfort zone and they wanted to suck out the energy of the twin flame they thought that they are going to take that energy and do something good out of it because the twin flames you know they carry some kind of confidence so some of you can take this channeling as a message or as a sign if you resonate with it you know everyone doesn't have to resonate with every single channeling if you resonate with it then you have to understand this in like in a simple way that the one who took away your energy or thought that they can take your energy break your heart into pieces and you know just trash you like see when they meet you the you are an amazing person for them according to them they know you are amazing but at the same time they also know that you are a spiritually inclined person you are different you are honest so they use these treacherous means they use manipulation they use sexual energy love energy all types of energy in a manipulated form and they make you feel like they love you and they care for you and then you give your all to these people 
these type of people you give them everything especially your sac uh, sacral energy which you had kept for a true lover which you had really kept only for a true lover you could have been celibate for a long time or you may not be involving yourself uh into some relationships maybe you had something here and there before meeting this type of person a false twin or a hardcore false twin a hardcore karmic you know uh negative soulmate also narcissistic partners so you kept it for a true lover and then you confused got confused uh, yourself you know with this person that this person is my true love and then you gave it gave that person your all you may not be 100% fully there also that's why you attracted them in the first place but your you know root energies and your uh, sacral energies matter a lot because guys sacral energy is connected to your third eye energy also okay so when we do this uh, chakra therapy then you'll get to know the details of many things right now i cannot explain it so deeply but what i can say to you is when your root works fine it will connect to the crown when your third eye or when your sacral is fine it will connect to third eye when your solar plexus is working fine and solar plexus is so so important solar plexus itself means your navel that's where your navel is placed okay it itself means the energy point for the solar for from the sun energy lord shri ram is also from the sun dynasty the solar dynasty he was the king he was in the same dynasty okay so that's the reason why he and he is the masculine the sun is masculine and the moon is feminine okay so he was born on planet earth to even at that time support the feminine energy because after dwapar ends you can't they can't reincarnate during dark ages it's not possible for them the energy does not match with them okay so that's the time when masters very powerful masters will ascend on planet earth and they will go through their journey from scratch just imagine an ascended master takes birth on planet earth and they also start from scratch they don't know who they are even sometime you know like at a young age they may not know but then they are very much drawn to the inner work and they keep doing inner work and then sooner or later they realize they come into their full potential so during the dark ages masters are born and before the dark ages start and after the dark ages end these are the two times when maximum number of twin flames are born because they need to balance out the energy okay so then the dark agents the dark agents job is to stop these twin flame from doing their work because that's all they'll do they will do their job you know if you if you technically understand they are doing their job and the light beings are doing their job they are all doing their job so no one takes it personally eventually okay so then when you don't take it personally you understand that all of this happened because you would also ascend so if somebody treated you like that somebody used their crocodile tears or they used their energies or they used their fake mask fake spirituality or whatever they did to get into bed with you or to just fool you because you know your heart chakra will also get blocked because you are giving them their them your love all your love all your trust all your you know like believe in them that they are not going to let you down and they are the ones who pursue you these are the people who are always going to pursue you they'll be very good during the rana chaser dynamic that's why this term false twin got created in the first place no because they make you feel they keep you away from your twin they make you feel that you know this is the real deal happening they will run away they'll come back to you when they come back to you they'll make many excuses and many pretenses and they'll cry a lot and they'll say oh i am incomplete without you oh i love you so much oh i can't do without you i was such a fool to go away from you all they want to do is just have a good time with you in clear words i'm telling you that just use you because they are like that you must be thinking why they're doing this to you because they are like that that's how they are they can't help it a lot of them are actually possessed by uh the evil beings they don't even know maybe they are very good vessels okay so when they clean up also or when you are very pure they may not be able to act it out in front of you so when you know there's a time there's a time for everything they've taken so much of your energy but once you ascend you take it back you energetically bring back the pieces of you that you unknowingly or knowingly gave it away you know you can even make this decree or this prayer 
that i ask all the pieces of my souls soul to come back to me right now right now right now they come back to me they should come back to me in heel form so you can make these these proper lines also that i i ask i request all of the and i expect all of the pieces of my soul to come back healed and purified come back to me from all the places they went to knowingly or unknowingly because sometimes you did it knowingly sometimes you literally did it knowingly like yeah it's going to harm you you know that but you gave it up because you were so codependent or you were so attached or you were so blinded by the lust which you considered to be the love okay so the love energy so now these people are in bad situation because they took the energy of the twin flame very powerful energy you know it can manif you must be thinking that i'm not able to manifest anything i can't manifest money i can't manifest whatever i want the union and blah 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 how come they are using my energy and manifesting these things because they are not manifesting on a spiritual plane they are manifesting those partners and the business deals and the money and the health and all that only in the materialistic reality so they use it to attract somebody or something for their benefit for their materialistic benefit but they don't realize that this energy does not belong to them this energy does not belong to them it will go back to the rightful owner sooner or later they don't know this because of their lack of knowledge and because of their lack of spiritual maturity okay so don't feel bad if someone had deceived you in the past betrayed you or fooled you in the past in fact surrender mode is about that just let it go and forgive them but they will get their lesson you got to be strong enough for that you got to stand up for yourself okay but you need to be an observer now this time you can't get so attached about it and the reason why twin flames are not able to manifest those things back then because of course this is uh, the wish of god yeah you need to understand it you are not getting certain things for a reason at a certain time because you need to ascend you need to do your inner work if you had all that money and if you had all that control and all of that confidence that you needed to manifest or fulfill a certain materialistic karmic false twin relationship then you would not be here right now isn't it so whatever happens happens for the best and you got to learn your lesson because you could see their true faces when you are not willing to give them what they wanted they dumped you they ditched you they betrayed you they humiliated you they insulted you they ignored you they walked all over you and then they chose someone else and now they are stuck in that now some of those people who could be actual genuine lovers but they are stuck because of the 3d uh, matrix reality or mirage they may realize the truth in a different way okay but both of them or all of them are going to cry real tears this time so first they cried crocodile tears now they will try cry the real tears because they will go through the prison they will live in that prison they thought that you they put you in the prison right they put you in the dark night knowingly now that's why i said some of them knew about the twin flame concept or maybe if out of these people say out of the 100 people say 20% were genuine people okay genuine condition or genuine situation they had they also knew about the twin flame concept they also knew about the spiritual things still they chose the wrong side still they chose the easy side still still they chose the comfortable side still they chose to do bad but it is karma you cannot run away from karma the difference between a genuine person and a fake person the genuine person does not incur karma because they don't do anything wrong if they have to help someone they will help even if they know this will put them into loss or something they will still be like okay it is my duty as a human being i have to do it you know as a moralistic person i have to do it the only time they grow they start growing is later on when they build up discernment and they get out of attachments and then they realize that i don't need to help people or take care of people because of x y z reason okay 
sometimes in therapy also i have noticed people come with this understanding or this uh, i don't know the thought process that because i am paying money to the therapist i am giving her money so she needs to please me she needs to say yes to everything if she says on one occasion that no you are not right you need to work this out you need to fix it they get very frustrated they are like no i am not wrong i am always right i don't do anything wrong i am the innocent person i don't make any mistakes i have no toxicity i have nothing but they don't want to accept it that if they don't have nothing going wrong then why are they trapped in this pain why are they suffering so much why can't they get out of the loop okay i'm talking about some of them guys i'm not talking about all of them honestly some of my students have made me proud i am proud of them and i'm i consider myself to be very uh i can say grace of god is on me i consider myself to be very lucky it's the masters who have connected me to such people who have impressed me with the amount of inner work they do and the dedication they have for the inner work their dedication inspires person like me also that even i should keep doing this work and i should also be dedicated and i should also keep working on myself more and more more and more more and more so that i can meet such people you know who do amazing in our work people have given 6 months 7 months even year and some of them still say that i still want to learn yes there are some you know who cannot because their ego is very strong and some of them have curses they have very strong curses they have really like dark entities around them so the moment they start doing good inner work something pulls them back they would want to have lot of alcohol right before the session like they know that tomorrow there is the session day after tomorrow there is a session they'll go for a party they'll get drunk they'll smoke a lot they'll probably eat a lot of meat or something they'll have some casual sex and then they are not in the condition you know and then their question is all about how do i attract this person or that pe- person how should i manifest this person or that person some of them have even admitted that yes whenever i do inner work i find it very difficult something stops me so there are dark entities evil entities negative entities negative programming narcissistic abuse is one of the biggest reason some people don't even know that there is narcissistic abuse twin flames have to clear the narcissistic abuse and technically in medical world there is no cure for narcissism and i'm not talking about the lower degrees of narcissism because little bit of narcissism is there in every person okay i'm talking about the hard hardcore you can get a phys- uh, degree in psychology or psychiatry but you still can't uh, medically you can't cure anyone there is no medicine for it medically there's no point of getting a degree also because there's no medical cure for it so just imagine how strong narcissism's effect is and how much it confuses the psychologist or even like psychiatrists who have these masters and phd's they don't know what to do with it some of them themselves are suffering with, with it i have met phd have come to me deans principals have come to me and uh, nothing to uh, flaunt and show off because you know in twin flame journey all types of people are there there are some people i personally know they have psych uh, masters in psychology or something but they themselves are going through through psychiatric treatment they themselves have to take pills and medicines if they don't take pills and medicines they suffer a lot imagine what has this study done to them this study has turned them into uh the problem of medical student syndrome there is a there is a psychological disorder called medical student syndrome so when the medical student studies way too many things then they start going through syndromes that they are also suffering from those things so there is so what type of education is this just think about it that's why i tell people study the upanishads study the veda study study the purana study ramayan ramayan and mahabharat guys it's not a story only it is everything anybody who has deep interest in ramayan and mahabharat you don't even know what world you're entering in you know the names of the characters the characters you know every single character it's not just coincidence that duryodhan's name is duryodhan or his brother's name is dushashan dushashan if you translate it in uh, english it means wrong governance 
दुशासन मीन्स रॉन्ग और इम प्रॉपर गवर्नेंस द नेम इट सेल्फ इज दुशासन यू नो एंड दुर्योधन मीन्स समबडी हु इज एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड टू फाइट विद यू नो द करेक्ट मीनिंग इज समबडी मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट दुर्योधन मीन्स बैड रूलर बट दैट्स नॉट करेक्ट इट्स इफ यू ब्रेक इट इन टू वॉट डज इट मीन दैन दू और दू मीन्स डिफिकल्ट एंड योधन मीन्स फाइट और वॉर सो दुर्योधन मीन्स समवन हु इज एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट टू फाइट और डिफीट और अ वॉर अगेंस्ट इफ यू वेज अ वॉर अगेंस्ट बट हाउ एवर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज द कैरेक्टर ऑफ दुर्योधन दुर्योधन मीन्स अ पर्सन हु इज फुल ऑफ ईगो सेल्फिशनेस ओके ही इज ऑलवेज थिंकिंग अबाउट हिमसेल्फ ही क्रिएट्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ईवल and he is a narcissistic child an enabled child of two narcissistic mother and father and one of the parent is a blind person by birth and the other one chooses to become blind just because the husband is blind so they are blindly also in love with the child they love the child blindly so even when he is creating huge errors and committing crimes and you know doing all sorts of horrible things and being extremely selfish he is always angry duryodhan is always angry as a character so imagine even the names of the characters are written in such a way that an intelligent person can figure it out that okay duryodhan means so it is it is having two meanings the for the parent when they created the name of duryodhan they must have thought that duryodhan we are creating a son who will be very difficult to fight but they are not thinking that he is the the symbolism of ego like in the story of ramayan the main villain is ravan okay ravan means a noisy sound okay a loud noisy sound that is ravan a crying sound is called ravan and ravan was like that he was a big time attention seeker and he was always creating problems and always complaining on top of that he was always like i am right i am right i need to get this i need to get that he was totally against ram and sita's love so coming back to the initial point when i had said that ravan the creator of illuminati never wanted you know sita and ram to be together because sita and ram are symbolic of true love and who are sita and ram sita and ram are the original twin flames on this planet the first twin flames and the original twin flame on this planet earth the reincarnation of vishnu and lakshmi even if vishnu and lakshmi live in the dimension higher dimension okay uh the dimension called vaikunt a dimension which means no frustration dimension of no frustration it's not like they're constantly together you have to understand seshnag uh vishnu and lakshmi they are uh, from the higher dimension but only to volunteer for the people of earth they keep coming back to planet earth so even if you are a very high ascended master being still you volunteer so why won't a twin flame volunteer yeah why won't they volunteer if vishnu and lakshmi are volunteering if ram and sita are volunteering you know vishnu as ram lakshmi as sita then vishnu as krishna and lakshmi as uh, radha and then five other forms of radha in the same life if they are volunteering then why wouldn't we if you consider yourself to be twin flame or a star, star seed or even an ascension or if you think yes i am contributing on planet earth why wouldn't you want to volunteer because any which way you're going back to your dimension wherever you came from so this is not a vacation spot for you you were already vacationing somewhere and then you got like yeah i have vacation too much i've got nothing to do so they said okay now you need to go to planet earth or maybe when you finish your work as a twin flame as a volunteer then you go back and rest so you already know that you came back from a place of peace only because you had to do something here you want to be of use yeah you want to contribute you are raring to contribute but when you come to earth they create all these illusions because of which you don't want to contribute or at least you think that i don't want to do this you start complaining oh it's so difficult it's so difficult i don't want to do this so that's the reason why i'm telling you that all those people who fooled you betrayed you took away your energy rather stole your energy they stole your energy without telling you in some cases and some cases you were told so you gave them your heart chakra energy and i am telling you guys and girls with experience that physically also you do that because you love so much you literally say here take my heart chakra take all the energy of my heart chakra and they know that they are doing you doing doing you also <laughs> 
they are doing you and at the same time they are, they are making a fool of you they know it very well still they do it just imagine they know you are innocent you are like in love with them you care for them you are such a big giver but my dear friends what they don't know is that the heart chakra that you offer to them it was only 50% worked out see because you are innocent you know you don't you don't know that uh say it's it's still not complete which is a good thing because you are you are not sure still you are giving it to them it's literally uh, like saying that you may be having things which may not be like completely working or functioning but still you give it to them because you know those things matter to you okay but they think that oh it's broken but they know that they've taken the energy from you but now karma is hitting them back and they cannot use your energy anymore maybe they used it to manifest some money uh some uh relationship or something but now they are very badly trapped my friends very badly trapped they got nowhere else to go some of you might receive contact from them some of them might even probably take a break try to separate file for a divorce and then come back to you but they are only coming back to you because they are scared they know that they did something very bad to you some of them were with you for 4 years 5 years 6 years in a relationship yet treating you like an idiot yet treating you like badly not committing to you fully using you here and there fooling around with your emotions and feelings taking your heart chakra energy sacral energy and also taking your confidence because they know the things that you are saying the spiritual things that you say you are saying it out of confidence say you are talking about twin flames to them like twin flame is like this like that is the other half of your soul maybe you don't know fully at that time you know 50% but whatever you say it's very confidently said and you believe in it so they take all those languages and that words and they use it on another person you know they say oh you are my twin flame or you are my lover of the life i love you here and beyond i've come from some other dimension or galaxy just to be with you blah 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 whatever they make those stories up and that other person is like wow they also fall for their trap and they are also falling for their trap see you know about your trap i mean for them i'm talking they know about their trap but they don't know that the other person could also be having a trap for them you know which obviously gets revealed in due course of time okay so now for your personal sessions and for therapies to book a therapy or a personal reading you guys can check out the description box and connect with me if you are ready to go ahead with it and kindly do not share your twin flame journey or whatever uh, you are going through in advance until unless i don't ask for it you have to book the session then you have to let me know that you've booked a session and i will schedule the time for you people please understand that i am in a different country and you are in a different country although energetically we are all in the similar dimension that's why you are attracted to this and i am attracted to do this work connect with you people but you know we need to manage the logistics as well right so be patient and be understanding i always respond to people as soon as possible in fact i don't want to uh, sound like someone who's praising herself but i want to be honest that i try to respond asap uh, you can have experience with other people and people have told me that they had to wait a lot uh, when they contacted other readers and other uh, therapists they had to wait a lot they had to be in queue for a long time and they, all they got was an email or links to some video sessions and here i do personal sessions with you all okay so please understand there is a lot of work that goes into it and i would really appreciate those people who believe in this concept you know and who who believe in doing inner work and who believe in divine love okay so thank you so much for being here with me this is where i conclude part 3 if you have any questions about this these particular three part that i've done please write under the comment section uh, i will surely try to uh, reply to you if it i feel that if it if it will help the whole community or more people and many people i'll surely respond to it otherwise also you guys must have noticed that i do respond to comments in between and thank you so much for all of you for doing in our work and wanting to be a volunteer on planet earth right now see you in another one one love and peace out